Dear comrades of the Communist Party of Greece and the Communist Youth of Greece, greetings from Spain. On behalf of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of the Workers of Spain, I would like to thank you for the invitation to participate in this event about the EU reactionary strategy on refugees and migrants issue. Our party is closely following the situation of the refugees and migrants. Of that part of the working class, forced to flee from their homes and their countries in order to survive the aggressiveness of imperialism and poverty, even though they know that the economic and human difficulties of starting such a desperate path. It is easy for us in Spain to relate this situation to two historic moments. First of all, what our ancestors lived after the National Revolutionary War in 1939. Several decades ago, we were those who fled from the horrors of fascism and left our life behind. Then, while France was secluding us in concentration camps, the Soviet Union received us and gave us studies and work, thus clearly putting into practice once again uh, proletarian internationalism. The second moment has to do with the 2008 capitalist crisis already more than a decade ago. The overall worsening of life conditions in our country was so terrible that the Spanish immigration towards the European countries increased 100%. The number of Spanish people residing, living abroad went from 1.4 million people in 2009 to 2.6 million people in 2021. Although we know that the real figures are uh, higher than those ones. Nevertheless, we are aware of the existence of a double scale when assessing the opening of borders between the European Union countries, bearing in mind the coverage of the need of cheap workforce of the big companies. As a result of the crisis of the refugees, essentially deriving from the war in Syria, the European Union has publicly shown its most reactionary face. We have witnessed the closure of borders, the overcrowding of thousands and thousands of refugees in concentration camps, summary deportations, especially to Turkey, but also to Morocco, the use of physical violence against refugees in several locations, the non-compliance of the reception agree agreements, and so on. This is what the European Union and our country offer to those who flee from war and misery. The last developments in Belarusian border with the European Union countries is another example of the criminal role of imperialism. While imperialists are bombing a country, they also reject the asylum for their inhabitants and condemn them to live under miserable conditions in concentration camps. If we talk about the situation of migrant workers, we would first like to clear out that, regardless of their country of origin, they are a part of the working class and therefore their objective interests are against the interests of the power of capitalism. Precisely because they are a section of the class, they endure harder life and labor conditions, particularly in two spheres. Firstly, the labor sphere, as they have higher unemployment rates and are employed in the toughest, less qualified and worst paid jobs under conditions of overexploitation. Secondly, in the social sphere, because of the health, the language, the nationality, the safety barriers they face, particularly now when the reactionary right-wing hate speech is advancing in our country and is targeting the immigrant working class. We as a communists know that the situation is caused by the development of the imperialist action for the increase of power and influence of the monopolies, inherent to the historic stage of capitalism we are located in. This is why, apart from denouncing the role of the EU and the governments against those refugees and immigrant workers and actively showing solidarity to them, we insist in the organization under a revolutionary orientation for the overcome of capitalism. The exploitative system is creating such miseries and only by putting an end to capitalism will a future worthy for all the peoples of the world be possible.
With political events like this one, with the advance of the communist parties and the strengthening of proletarian internationalism, we will build a future without misery, war and exploitation. Long live proletarian internationalism, comrades, and thank you very much for your attention.